Okay, now we're now we've got our racket all the way back in position. The one thing we got to think about now is actually swinging forward. Okay, and this it's very difficult to do. This is a, a couple of tips for for learning this. I call it the loop, making this loop in the back. Have your friend, brother, mom, dad, whoever, maybe film you or watch you. I mean, maybe maybe you have a tennis partner you play doubles with. Watch this video with you. Maybe by him watching, you can watch you and see if you're achieving this loop. Because this is, I mean, all this stuff back here, you can't see it. I mean, this is, you're looking at the ball. And your, your eyes are right on this yellow thing. So you can't see any of this happening. So having someone or, you know, hopefully you've got a teaching pro that's working with you that understands all this, even if he words a little bit different, your forward swing, I call it the loop. So let's, let's talk about this loop. This is a throwing motion. Once I get to here, all I'm doing is dropping my racket back. Now you hear back scratching. People say back scratching. That's true. You do drop your racket back here in back scratching position like you're reaching back. Look at my elbow. It's still pointing towards the back fence. It's not over here. If you're over here, now I'm facing the net. I'm open too soon and I'm not going to get the best results. I want to stay turned. I'm not opened up yet, even when I make the loop. Loop is here. Okay, you see trophy position. Now I'm making the loop. The racket head drops. I got a loose grip. Don't grip this grip real tight. If you grip it real tight, you will not be able to achieve a nice loop. See it dropping? Right here. Now it doesn't stop back here. There's another mistake I see a lot of. A lot of people go back here. They know go to ready position. They get back here to the, the backswing. And what they do is they drop it, but they stop. You might as well just start from this position then. I mean, you're, not, you're losing all the racket head momentum. Here, now watch this loop happen. It happens very quick. If you're watching for it on TV, like the pros, it's hard to see this. It happens very quick. They drop the racket head. Look at the bug cap. It's pointing up and up to the ball, They're reaching up. And I still haven't moved my feet. My feet are still in position here. So let's go through it again. I go back here to my backswing. I get the racket head to the top, and now I'm making this loop. Look at the racket dropping. I haven't changed my grip. It's where a lot of people change their grips right here. They get right to here to this position, and it'll do this. Now I've now I'm back into my forehand grip. You got to keep your grip. Backswing. There it is. Back scratch. If you're having trouble achieving this on your own, if you don't have anyone to watch you or videotape or anything, one thing you can do is put your racket on your back, make sure your elbow's back, throw the ball up, and swing from this position a few times. This will give you a feeling, give your muscles an idea exactly where the racket head is reaching to, going from that loop. Just like that, making that loop. Look in the back again. Making a quick loop. See the racket head making that looping? Just like this. Now, something you can do, kind of interesting, you can take a rope, a short piece of rope or string, maybe tie something heavy, a rock on the end of it, even take a sock, a tube sock, put a tennis ball in it, and you can make this loop. And if you stop in the backswing, it'll actually hit you in the head because unless you keep it moving, it won't stay taut. It's a good little tip for you. So like this, once you, if you have that sock or, like I said, a piece of rope, make that loop. If you stop, if I stop here, it's going to stop and hit me in the head or stop and you're going to feel it hit your back. Making that loop right there. Back scratch and up. Hopefully you can, you can achieve this every time. It's a nice, easy motion. I want to keep showing you this because some of you maybe never seen it. Right here. And this is where you're going to pick up a lot of speed on your serve. If you can achieve a nice, smooth motion with a nice loop in the back, you should be able to hit that big ace you want to hit.